Welcome back, South Florida, and happy Super Bowl Sunday. Right now, we are taking a live view there, and of course, you can see it is cloudy, and we had plenty of rain overnight and some gusty downpours even. Here we go, that live view from our Fort Lauderdale camera, Broward County, and we are still seeing a few clouds in the mix. The same goes for Biscayne Bay camera, Miami. Most of the rain has rolled out of Broward and Dade County, and temperatures have plummeted. It is on the chilly side. You will need your jackets and sweaters, certainly, with the low 50s in Broward and Dade County, 60s down through Monroe County and look at the winds cranking out of the northwest anywhere from 10 to even 16 miles per hour peak wind gusts so far anywhere from 25 to 32 miles per hour. So it will be blustery at times throughout the day today. As we take a look at the radar again, it is dry in Broward and Dade County. However, starting to see a couple of showers headed towards the lower keys. So a heads up there and looking at the radar and satellite, there's the cold front that I promised you. And in terms of your Super Bowl watch party, we are talking 65 degrees. So for those of you who are planning to grill outside, a jacket, a light sweater will do. But really, it'll be beautiful, sunny, breezy, though, and cooler, courtesy of that front. Checking in on the rest of the U.S., we are seeing the 30s for Boston and through New York City and D.C., even as far south as the Gulf Coast states into Texas. So most everybody near freezing temperatures right now. And right now, checking in on San Francisco, Super Bowl City, 51 degrees. And the weather is going to be fabulous for the big game in Santa Clara, California, when the Broncos take on the Panthers. So 73 degrees. It doesn't get better than that there. And here in South Florida, it'll actually be cooler and windy with a high of 65 degrees. Those gusts to 35 miles per hour leading to a dangerous high risk of rip currents. Not a good day for voting, although I'm sure that most of you will not be heading out on the water. You're going to be staying home and watching the game right here on CBS 4. Small craft advisory. C6 to 10, rough on the bays. And tonight, the coldest air of the season with lows in the mid 40s. So you're really going to have to bundle up tomorrow morning as you're getting ready to head back to work to school. Mid 60s in terms of our highs. And then we'll see lows in the 50s Tuesday, high around 70. And temperatures creeping back up as we head towards the end of the week. We'll see 70 on Thursday and 75 degrees on Friday.